Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Reyes, my name is Albi. I'll be playing through this game with you, it's been out for a couple of years now. Uh, it's by Abbey Games, a nice little indie studio, and it's a nice little take on the god game genre that is a lot of fun, I think, so I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. So just to explain things before we go, we are going to go through the tutorials just to show you all the mechanics, because it is a bit off in places. We won't do the first one because that is very base mechanics, which would probably just be boring because it's just camera movement and the basic fundamentals. But if we start from the second, that's where the mechanics really start coming in and being a bit more interesting. So we'll start there. Planet, you have been sleeping for aeons. What will be left of your lush lands? So yeah, in this you are literally playing as a planet. Gaia, if you will, if anyone's familiar with that philosophical concept. And this is that planet. As you can see, you've just got this 2D spherical planet that's really nice to look at. Everything's kind of a barren wasteland right now, but I'm sure that's what we're here to improve. Welcome to the Second Era. Once again, you have awoken from your slumber. You find your surface dry and barren. You recall the time you used the giants, your giants, to create oceans and forests. You gather all your strength so the ocean giant and the forest giant can reawaken. And here come the boys. Ocean giant is crab. Forest giant is... I'm not sure to be honest, it's kind of like a monkey? Sort of like a tree monkey. I suppose. I like the crab though. As you can see, for the 2D art style, we've got some lovely, lovely aesthetics here. Lots of little details. And then the little holes in his leaf skirt. Anyway, you sense the faint spark of life somewhere deep down below. Is it asking for a surface to live on? Okay. So the ocean giant, as you might suppose, can create oceans. Get to it, Krabby. Let there be the seas. As you can see, it's manipulating the shape of the surface, so you've got all these curves. And these areas where it's darkened is land that is now hydrated, because it's near the sea. Which is where Forest Giant comes in, he can take hydrated land, and he can turn it into forest. Like so. Meanwhile, Krabby, you can make the ocean a bit bigger for us, I think. There we go, we got some trees. So, the next step is well done. You sense a change. Somewhere in a cave, something small has awakened. You sense a new spark of life throwing, flowing through your core, and it seems your forest giant has gained a new ability. So, the forest giant can now plant fruit trees. Or, what he actually plants is different based on region, so in this case, we've got blueberries. Very nice. Nutter, why would you play Adventure Game? Okay, so, now there's humans and they're living by the coast. Good for them. So, as soon as the humans settle, all their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. So we've got a town here that's been named Castlewood. Uh, so they've got one village border here, and one village border is out at sea. And the borders will expand and bring more terrain in as you help them grow. And to help them grow, they need food, they need wealth, and they need technology, which are all things you can generate for them. So we've got the different little patches of terrain. The humans have influence over all those patches. The food influence goes to those patches. And we now need to give them a bit more. They can use five food because there's five available within their borders. So what we're going to do is give them a bit more food, and see them expand. There we go, so they're now able to get ten food in, because they've got five here and five there. Now, we can speed things up by adding extra resources, so give them even more food. So. To get to the next step, we're going to have to make sure they're generating nine, which they will get to eventually. But if we give them a few more fruit trees, which we'll do on this patch over here when it's off cooldown, we can get it going even faster. 
they have the nine. Well done, the village is growing and the people are gaining knowledge. They've started building something of their own. Smart asses. So they're building a granary now. And what the buildings they build will do is give them special bonuses. But in order to finish the granary, they need to be generating 20 food. And that's where I come in. And the, what the ocean giant can do is make wildlife. So while he makes plants, Krabby over here can make animals. Let's see what animals we get. I do like the art style on the humans, it's very simplistic. Okay, so now we've got some chickens on the go. Da -da -da -da. Luckily, it seems the ocean giant has now grown stronger and gained a new ability. So now we've got the chickens doing their thing. And you can see the chickens have a symbiosis with the blueberries. So now the blueberries are generating nine food. Plants, animals, and minerals all have separate symbiosis. I'm not sure how a mineral has symbiosis. That's generally a term you see associated with ecosystems, but never mind. So now we just need to make sure they finish the granary. Uh, let's try putting some life in the sea. That should give us some more food. Make life. Mackerels. So that's generating a bit more food for them now as well. It's interacting there. So hopefully they should have their 20 food soon. Can't really see any other tiles we can interact with at the moment. Can we? No, we can't put stuff within their borders. Those tiles are all in use, so yeah, we've just got to wait, really. At least they're very happy, they've got lots of food, they've got chicken, they've got blueberries, and they've got fish. Not the most varied diet, perhaps, but it's enough. Okay, da 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 da! And here comes the completed granary. And a human is willing to join us as an ambassador. Ambassador wishes to climb on your shoulders of the giants and increase their strength. The rock giant has awoken, then he has no abilities. So let's have him pick up the ambassador. Even though he did none of the work in this project, he's going to get the reward. But we need him to do jobs, so we'll just have to live with it. Okay, so first thing first, let's give ourselves a mountain. Uh, can you two wander over here as well? I think we might need you later. Hey, we've now got a mountain, and we've got a desert too. Okay, let's just cap it off on the other side, give us a bit more desert for them to work with. It's off you, bit, buddy. Jumped the gun a bit there, started making deserts, even though I didn't bother to read the tooltip. So I'm sure that was very amusing for everyone watching. So in the meantime, we are going to go and give them some minerals. Let there be minerals. Okay, so now there's a guy there, which is something they can mine. So now we've been asked to create 10 patches of desert. So we've got some, uh, go and pop some more over there just so we can have a nice little capped on desert range. So we're going to want some animals in the desert. So you boys can come and do your voodoo that you do. Just come and give us some plant life where you can as well. I know it's a desert and it's not really your thing, but do the best you can, okay, Forest Giant? And here comes the earth bending team. So what's our animal here? It is a kangaroo rat that will generate more food if it's next to minerals. So now we have a desert tribe called Dark Dam. You sense it will start a new project soon. Which they have. They have started building a shrine. And hey, here comes the rest of the desert. Thank you, Mountain Man. So you know you can see our planet is really starting to take shape. Still some wasteland here and there, but we can work on that. So first things first, let's give them some minerals. 
Now we're going to put it next to the kangaroo rats because they've got their extra food bonuses if they're next to minerals. Krabby, step aside. Thank you, Krabby. Okay, so they're now able to generate wealth. There's now even more food being generated, there's even more money. I think everyone wins. So some things can be activated. So when they're using at least five wealth, they get their symbiosis, which we should be able to do for them by putting down a bit more minerals. So as you can see, the deserts are very much more a mineral-oriented place, which makes a lot of sense. And they're good at wealth. So now they've got plenty of quartz mines, they should be able to start getting things in that they need. Do you want to be able to put some down over there? Because then we can put another quartz mine within their borders, just to make sure they get everything, and they'll generate even more food, thanks to the kangaroos and rats. Good to now have symbiosis that activate even more wealth, so they get plus eight when they're next to another quartz, so now they're freaking rolling in money. And we'll give them even more money! Okay, maybe lots and lots of quartz available here now, which thanks to the kangaroo rats is going to generate plenty of food. Oh, that's slightly outside the range. Oh well, never mind, they are getting some food from it, so it's not a complete loss. I misjudged my distances there a little bit. Can we pop one a little closer? No, we can't. Well, actually, we can pop one there. There we go. Now we've got the signatures. So they're going to finish the shrine as soon as they get one more food in use, which should only be a couple of seconds away. There we go. Now, the humans have strengthened your core. You have learned about religious resources, specializations, and symbiosis. Okay, so we're going on to the second tutorial now that teaches the rest of the game's mechanics. Planet, the humans seemed promising, but did they survive with your long slumber? So we skip forward in time a bit now and the planet is barren good job humans what did you even do while we were gone hey it's Krabby and oh it's the swamp giant so that's the fourth and final one and okay so he can make some swamps for us that'd be grand and here are our objectives Finish an era with the village that has 175 prosperity. Finish an era with a village that has 500. And a fishing village. Okay, so I think these are our bonus objectives actually. It's chosen people, civilized, and fishing village. Okay, we might be able to do these, I think. So you can start by making this our swamp. You can make the ocean even bigger. Yes, everyone likes having oceans, so we can see if we can set that fishing village up. Okay, we'll advance the objective in just a second. I want to create a bit more swamp first. It's like a living algae. Raise the swamps. And what the swamp can, can do is place herbs. So we know we can place minerals, plants, herbs, and animals with our four titans. Create some herbs over here. And herbs generate science. So now we've got our village of New Peak. They are using technology. The ocean giant has gained the grow aspect ability. Aspect abilities allow you to upgrade plants, animals, or minerals. Cast it on the patch of herbs. Okay, swampy, you can pop over here.
Okay, so now my peppermint is growing food as well as science. The aspect has kindled a transmutation within the herbs. Okay, I can turn peppermints into tomatoes. I don't actually know how that works. I don't think evolution works that way, but we'll roll with it. Aspect may also be used to transmute plants. Don't forget, these tomatoes have a new symbiosis. This one technology for each food on this patch. By using the correct transmutations and symbiosis, you can complete products with these. Talking of projects, here's one now. They want a school, and a school is food and technology. Okay, so first things first, we'll give them some more herbs. And we'll see what animals we get in the swamp as well. So we get frogs, and they get more food if they're next to elderberries. And I don't think we can actually make elderberries, but we will bring some more food in here. And we will turn them into tomatoes. So they've got plenty of stuff coming in now, they should be able to finish the project soon. Uh, we've got another patch we can plant on, but we won't do anything with it just yet. While we're waiting, uh, Krabby go put an ocean over here. Meanwhile, Krabby do his crab thing. Awesome crab. You are blessed by the swamp giant, my children. He is huge and green and molty. One more point of technology. The planet is looking planety. It's kind of, that is not a nice half of the planet, but this is quite a nice half of the planet. So we'll stay with the nice half. Hey, they finished their school. Nice going, lads. Now we have an ambassador of the swamps. To unlock new ability requirements. Swampy, let's see what you can unlock. Toxic aspect. Learn about prosperity. Prosperity is the total amount of food in use, wealth in use, and technology in use. Or for all the villages on the planet summed up together. You can view this in the upper corner. So the total prosperity at the moment is 38. Ooh, who's coming to play? Is it going to be forest or is it going to be its forest? Hey birdie. Welcome to the club. So now he can give them plants. Leaf aspect. So now we've got. Oh! I'm going to pretend I did that on purpose. There were already frogs and now we've added elderberries. Nice. So what happens if we upgrade? Uh, we don't need more tomatoes. We, besides, we're getting the frogs and the with elderberries. The village's borders have expanded over here a bit, haven't they? Could we. What could we do? I think we should give this a go. So, first things first, let's put some herbs over here. That's a food aspect of that. So what happens if we make peppermint toxic? We can turn them into marshmallows. Marshmallows. <laughs> okay, that's funny. If they are next to an animal nest, Okay, well, we can do that. It's not going to benefit the village as much, but they'll get the synergy within their borders, which is good enough. Well done, a nomad is ready to spawn. A new nomad will also require a habitable area with some animals, plants, or mines nearby. So we can go make a forest. And we've just made some synergy over there with the frogs. Very nice. Okay. So, over the other side of the sea, from the swamplands, we shall create a forest land. Uh, do you always want to come to... We can probably make use of you. Come join the party. In you peek, I'm going to leave you boys to do your own thing. Try not to blow yourselves up or, you know, destroy the entire world, but you're just a village, so I'll keep the manage. You've got a lot going for you here. Peace out.
Meanwhile, let there be life. Very nice. The swamp giant has gained the exotic animals ability. Creates animals that provide wealth. Ooh, this could be fun. Can we make the forest a little bigger? I feel like it's too small. Stoats. Stoats make money. Hmm, okay. You sense a nomad roaming the surface. Can we make toxic stoats? Here's the village. Villages will always spawn in habitable areas, which makes sense. Humans don't like to die, generally speaking. Oh. Hey, the squad's all here. Forest, swamp, rock, and ocean. So let's give them stoats some symbiostotis. Okay, that folk doesn't work. Stotiosis? Symbi symbiostotis? You know what, I'm just going to stop. Okay, that is a ridiculously rich patch of agai now. Remember how blueberries work with chickens? Forest giant to create some blueberries for the forest. Oh, go okay. Let's upgrade the blueberries so that they are now strawberries. So, with strawberries, they can get more food if they're next to things. Okay, so let's do that. So, they're now generating ore for us, which is nice. So they're starting a new project and they're building a shrine just like the desert tribe was in the last tutorial. So they need wealth and they need food. That's an attack, I don't think we need that just yet. We get some more food going, do we think? Can you make animals for us? Yes you can. Come and put some chickens near the strawberries. Uh, could we use some more acres? Let's put down some more. It's within range of the stoves so it'll help even if it's outside the village borders. Chickens in range of the strawberries. Although they do need blueberries. So we do that. There we go. That's increased the local food supply somewhat. I wonder how Swamp Village is doing. Swamp Village is doing great. Swamp Village is doing very well, actually. Go and give them some exotic animals. Project is going to be completed in just a second. Hey, an ambassador wants to join us. Let's give it to the forest giant. You've got the least abilities. As well as the huge group, your village has become greedy. Saint Rick is attacking you. Oh, they're at war. That's ch guys. No. Witness how the village falls into chaos. Oh God damn it, humanity! Why'd you do this? We had a nice thing going, and now you're sending troops to go beat up other people. Use your rock trans or the swamp trans abilities. Okay. You know what? I'm not having you picking on the swamp dudes. I like the swamp dudes. So that's got rid of the army. Uh, meanwhile, swamp dudes, who you've just finished giving them nice things, haven't you? Well, come back over here then. Be uh, not nice to these people. Meanwhile, you can come over here and get ready to give them another earthquake as soon as they cool down, because these people think they're allowed to go bully people. I'm a kind god, and you shall learn my ways of peace through war. Don't think too hard about that sentence, I certainly didn't. I didn't want to do this, Saint Rick. I didn't want to do this. This is all on you. This is all on you and your insistence on fighting. You know, I could just sink it. 
Let's try that. Bye bye village. Let there be a cataclysm upon ye! A cataclysm of crab! I'm sorry, you've caught crabs. <laughs> okay, that's the completion of the tutorial section, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back to play through some scenarios in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, and we'll see you in the next one. There's plenty more to come on the channel, so bye for now.